Hey, what's going on? Bill is Krosama here, and we have so many new updates. Um, obviously, I'm going to be covering a lot of these things in all these different videos because having one very large video covering everything I think is a little bit too much. So I'm just going to separate all these into little bits. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be going over one of the new features, which is blueprints. So let's go ahead and check it out. So before we get into the parts uh, and like the gear, which is over here, we're going to go to items. So you have skip tickets, and what's cool, they actually show you right uh, in the top. Well, they kind of didn't show you there. But if you look at the top, they actually show you the amount you already currently own. So if you want skip tickets, you can use one star parts, which I don't really think that's a good idea. Awakening circuit beta, you're going to have two star parts times ten, which you really don't need green. You get plenty of green within the storyline and the, uh, the actual events. Um... Well, sorry, not the storyline, but the just game itself. And you can have Awakening Circuits Y, and you're just going to need 10 of the Awakening Circuits Beta. Um, I would say go for the Awakening Circuits Y, because that's just a little bit better. Uh, then you're also going to have Parts, which no craftable blueprints is currently in here. Uh, so that's interesting. It says Parts. Obviously, I've seen a couple of screenshots kind of floating around, but obviously we're going to be able to get uh, very particular parts if we craft it using other materials. So that's really cool. I like that ability because what if they're going to start putting some default four stars in here uh, that is either exclusive or maybe some from like banners. So if like, hey, you don't have the uh, the new you don't have the uh, the new Gundam's head. Hey, you can go ahead and craft it using some uh, a bunch of materials. Probably be very expensive, but it's, it's definitely going to be worth your time. Now where you need to go is going to be in the shop tab. So you go here and then you go on blueprint. Now the only actual parts you can that you can make for your frame is going to be the body. All the rest of the stuff, so like the arms, legs, and all that is not implemented in the game as of right now. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna have all the body parts and they're gonna have different increases and different like parameter increases. So you're gonna have cost, which is a reduction. Um, you got the physical resistance, beam resistance, shot defense, melee defense, shot attack, and uh, melee, oh sorry, melee attack and armor. So each different thing is going to be really tethered to a particular mobile suit type. So it wouldn't make any sense to get shot attack for a melee oriented suit. Uh, so right now I'm probably going to just pursue melee attack because I want to increase my uh, arena mobile suits uh, attack overall so that way I can get better overkill damage which will give me better assessment points because right now I think the best place to get Haro chips in terms of like consistent, uh, consistently is going to be the arenas. So this is how you actually start doing all these blueprints. And here is actually where you're going to have all your blueprints set up. Uh, so it's going to be uh, armor, you're going to have melee attacks, shot attack, melee defense, shot uh, defense, beam resistance, physical resistance, and cost reduction. Uh, so you're really going to have to look at these and know exactly what you're going to do for your mobile suit because you can only have one of these. You can't uh, put both a body uh, that increases armor and have a body that increases melee defense on one frame. You're going to have to choose. So let's say you have a defensive mobile suit. You're, I really don't think you're going to want an uh, increase in armor. You're really going to want those defenses to be increased a little bit more. Uh, so what I would recommend is kind of focus a little bit more on the melee defenses and the shot uh, attack defenses. Um, that's only if you're going like on a defensive side. Now let's say you're going on the melee attack. What I would say you would need for a melee attacker is going to be uh, melee attack, obviously. You're going to want probably some melee defense because if you're coming in close, you're really going to want to protect yourself when the enemy mobile suit is hitting you as well. And you're probably going to want to beef up your armor just a little bit. Uh, so those are the three I would recommend for a melee attack oriented suit. Now let's say you are a long distance shooter. Obviously you're going to want to increase your shot attack. Then you're probably going to want to increase, uh, I would recommend your resistances uh, over your defenses. But if you are going to want to increase your defense, uh, maybe your, I would probably say your melee is going to be better because when you come in uh, with like in fighters in the arena, they come in really close. And if you're a long distance shooter, yeah, you can get away a little bit. Uh, but if they do hit you, they're going to hit pretty hard. So maybe increase your physical resistance as well as uh, your melee um, defense. If not, your shot defense would be pretty good as well if you're going against another uh, long shooter. And then for my support units out there, really, I would probably go for your defenses as well as uh, your armor. Uh, there's really not any need. I would maybe even include a little bit of resistance. So uh, probably a little bit less on the melee. I would maybe go shot defense and shot uh, resistance or beam resistance, I should say. Uh, so go with those and then go with armor, uh, especially armor. You're going to need a lot of health if you're going to be a, su a support type unit. 
So in order to awaken these, uh, you're obviously going to need uh, different parts. So I'll just back out a little bit. Uh, so parts, you're going to need arms. You're going to need 15 types of arms. Then for parts, you're going to need one star parts times 15. That's, I think the arms part is a little bit too crazy. Um, so I mean, I got, let me sort it by a uh, rarity. So when it comes to 15 arms, I just don't have that. Um, so I have like one, two, three. It's going to be a lot. And it's going to uh, take up pretty much all my resources, which I guess is okay. But I mean, I don't have a, a lot of available arms as of right now because a lot of these arms I do want to use for a... Um, you know, for future like videos, content, you know, and, and analysis videos. Uh, but you know, I'll go ahead and I'll try and use a lot of the extras I do have. Okay, so I have 15 of the arms. I have 15 of the one star parts. Now we need to pay the cost, and it's going to just kind of like show you everything that you have selected. Sad that I'm getting rid of a lot of the uh, Gabara uh, parts, but hey, kind of is what it is. So yes, we are going to utilize those, and we should have our body. So we have crafting complete of our one body part. Now let's move over to the green. So in order to do a green, we're, this is a little bit ridiculous. This is probably going to take a long time. We're going to need five times of the white armor uh, part. That's pretty ridiculous in my opinion. So yeah, it says we only own one, um, which we, we own more than one. So I don't know, that's kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, it says own zero. I don't get that. Uh, but for the two star parts, we're going to need 10 times of those. So when you go in there, you're going to have all your um, two star parts. I mean, it's not really bad. I don't really mind that. But man, it's going to be really challenging to get this all the way to blue status, which isn't bad. You know, maybe it's not like I don't really want to rush this as soon as possible. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of bad. And then that price tag. Oh, my God. 500,000 capital for that. Uh, now, if we go over to let's check out the melee attack. Oh, sorry. So I was in the uh, I was in the armor over there. So I do own one, as you can see right here. And then if you go to blue, uh, it's going to need five of the greens. So you're going to need to do so five greens, right? So you're going to need 25 of the uh, the white parts uh, to make the, these greens. And then you know, obviously, you'll have uh, five of those greens. That's a lot of parts, man. That is a lot. You're going to need tons and tons of white parts, tons and tons of green parts in order to even get just the melee attack of uh, five of those. And then you're gonna need five three star parts, which actually that isn't bad because I have a lot of surplus of uh, three stars. But yeah, this is actually how you do it. Now let me show you how to equip them. So you'll come to your mobile suit and there's a little gear tab right here. Then you go to please set gear and you're gonna have your melee attack and obviously we will increase that like so. And there you go. So now I do have my actual increase. Uh, I remember it saying that you can only do it so many times. Uh, so I don't think you can like equip it and unequip it. I would have to like check and I really don't want to like try it. Um, but yeah, it says like you can only like, equip it to different parts so many times. Um, I don't think, I don't know how that works, but yeah, it kind of is what it is. But hey, now I actually got an extra 500 increase on my attack from my uh, arena suit. So whenever I get into arenas, that should do a little bit extra damage, which hey, is pretty good. So right now, I'm not really, um, I'm not super excited about this feature. Like it's really good, but it's going to be a very slow process unless you're just like getting a surplus of white, you know, arm parts and all that, um, or, you know, whatever white two star three star parts that way you can burn through those in order to get these increases um it's it's a really good feature i'm not gonna lie but it's definitely not gonna be something you can just get right now um like a, a whole amount of it so it, it kind of is what it is we have the arms and uh and legs gonna be coming out fairly soon so pretty excited about that gonna have a full set of just like you know pretty buff mobile suit this is gonna like lend its hand to a lot of the one stars uh, that some people probably like, you know, bring all the way to purple or even gold because they just like some of the one star parts or even two star. So, hey, have fun with the feature. Don't re don't use all your resources for this, and please choose the appropriate thing. If you're gonna have a melee suit, don't choose you know reduction in cost just because like you want reduction in cost. You know, you can work around that. Um, you know, definitely know your mobile suit strengths. I would say maybe capitalize on that. Maybe capitalize a little bit on some of the weaknesses in terms of defenses and resistances. Uh, but if you are a melee-oriented suit and you, your your melee just really isn't that good, yeah, go ahead and get some melee parts. Uh, but that's it, guys. So 
that's i mean i hope this tutorial ish kind of uh, helped you out if it did let me know in the comment section below definitely drop a like and if you can subscribe if you have not already but that's it for me guys i'll be seeing you in the next video bye bye